Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to review the data analyst with our track from Datacom. As you know that Datacom is a platform where you can learn about data science and data analysis and data engineer. Basically anything related to data you can learn it from Datacom. In this particular video I'm going to review the data analyst but with our track. In at the end of this video you're going to know if this track is suitable for you or not let's start this video all right so basically in this course or in this track this track should explain to me courses related to data analysis and some courses related to the R language. Let's see. In order for this track to be really good, since this is the R track, then it should give me at least an introduction to the R course, intermediate to the R course, maybe advanced R course, you know, I mean, how we can learn or start doing data analysis in R if he or the track didn't explain to me the R language. So there should be some basic coding skills and basic R course. This track should include basic R courses. Okay. Then since we are doing, <coughs> since we are analyzing some data using R, it should explain to me some statistics in R and probability in R and some general mathematics courses but supposed to be in R. Okay. I think if it covers only statistics it's going to be fine but if it explains probability and uh, let's say linear algebra and calculus and this stuff it will be like a plus. But if, it's, uh, if it explains only statistics in R I'll say it's fine. And then since we are using R to analyze data it should give me some courses about how I can start analyzing the data. I mean uh, something about EDA which is exploratory data analysis and how can we analyze data if we don't visualize the data so it should give me some courses about how I can use charts R markdown reports uh, 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 dashboards you know how I can use packages to visualize the data same thing here I use some packages to analyze the data like diplier, tidyverse and all, all those are packages in, which are used in analyzing the data. Now basically um, data analysis is one of the processes of data science. I mean at the beginning we, we, we have a problem and then we formulate that problem and then we get the data and then we start analyzing the data. So basically data analysis is a process or one of the process in the entire data science processes so there are is a big overlap you can see it here the math for data science calculus and linear algebra since this track is from data camp and data camp is a platform that teaches you uh, data science then should this track should include calculus and linear algebra if it didn't it's fine I mean I mean at, at the end I'm gonna learn data analysis in R, not data science. In data science, it should this, this, shou this should be covered. You can check it in the other video. I re already reviewed the data science in R and data science in Python track from Datacamp. But right now we are talking about data analysis. So these, where the mouse, yeah. These skills, this one and this one should be covered. We have Python. No, we're talking about data analysis with R. So R should be covered. How I clean the data. Exploratory data analysis is the EDA that I just said. And in the math, in the math part, only the statistics, just like I said. If it's only covered statistics, it's fine. If it covers probability and calculus linear, linear algebra, that's a plus. But only statistics, it's fine. And we have visualization, how we can use ggplot, let's say the ggplot packages, how I can uh, build dashboards and some uh, case studies in order for me to you know do the data analysis from end to end entire project for data analysis um, here we have in data science 
as I said, there are very, there is big overlap. Um, so since I'm using, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm dealing with that uh, data. So at least at some database courses should be covered, like introduction to SQL and intermediate to SQL, how I can create queries and uh, web scrapping, you know, how I can scrap the data because basically data analysis or data analyst, sorry, data analyst is the person who is in charge of preparing the data and analyzing it f so he can or she can give it to the data scientist. So basically data analyst is the middle person who gives the data to data scientist and he gets the data from data engineer and data engineer is the one who let's say scrap the data get the data from database sometimes a data analyst work as job of data engineer so these skills are kind of like a must and then since we're talking about data analysis there should be some course which explain EDA in details and how I can deal with missing data and should explain to me the packages which are used in data analysis in R. I mean, I use, let's say, Tidyverse, so there should be a, one course or two courses that explaining Tidyverse for me. If I'm using ggplot to, to visualize the data, there should be at least one or two courses that explains this package for me in details. So now let's jump in to the Datacamp website and see if these things that I just said are covered or not. Let's go to the website. All right, so right now we are at the data analyst with our career track from Datacamp. Now, before we go and review this track, let's revise a little bit from the slide section of this video that in order for you to become a data analyst, first of all, you need to pick a language, which is R or Python. Here we have R, so it, it mean, which means that this track should teach me some courses about data anal analyst or become so I can become a data analyst or so data analysis and on in our language so which means the first courses should be introduction to R, intermediate to R, advanced in R and then uh, it should introduce me to some packages that are used in uh, analyzing the data like deployer uh, uh, deployer and uh, carrot not carried towards machine learning that deployer and tidyverse ggplot2 for visualization and so on and then should give me some courses about how i uh, play with data which is data manipulation data wrangling data cleaning um you know this type of stuff and then introduction to the statistics and then uh, some eda courses exploratory data analysis and at the end should give me some advanced courses about reporting like arc markdown shiny apps tableau power bi maybe something like that because I'm analyzing the data so uh, I'm gonna playing with data applying some statistical concepts in data uh, making some charts uh, you know this type of stuff so let's go and see by ourselves of these all these things that was uh, covered in the slide section of this video are available in this track or not okay so at the beginning we have introduction to R that's nice intermediate to R and okay and then we have skill assessment. So after you take these two courses, you assess your skills and see if you are good or, or you learn really well. And then you go to the next one. Introduction to the Tidyverse, which is a course uh, introducing to a Tidyverse package, which is used in, uh, in uh, playing with data. And then you have Deployer, same thing, package for uh, an R to play with data. Joining data in Deployer, which is an advanced course for Deployer and then uh, skill assessment for data manipulation in R and then we have introduction to data visualization with ggplot2 and reporting with R markdown that's really nice data manipulation with data okay that's also advanced topic joining data and data okay nice introduction to importing data in R where there are very nice courses here they are all in data intermediate to importing data so there are a lot of courses which uh, basically help you out in uh, how to import the data how to play the data how to clean the data you know uh, data data manipulation or data wrangling section there are a lot of courses here cleaning data still again uh, e exploratory data analysis in R uh, cases to the introduction to statistics that's really nice categorical data in the tidyverse introduction to SQL that's nice how to get the data from uh, SQL table that's really nice I like that 
and that's it so uh, in, in as a data analyst this track is nice okay if you want to become a data analyst who work with data scientists then I would recommend that you take after you take this data analyst track you go and you take the data scientist with our track okay after you take the data analyst track you go and take the data scientist with our track if you uh, want to become like you want to become only data analyst a general data analyst I would recommend after you take that data analyst track this one you go and you take another track called statistician with R because as a data analyst you need to know statistics and this statistic uh, uh, track has uh, really nice courses okay so I would highly recommend you do that and you have data analyst with SQL that okay so for for me I mean th these courses are really nice uh, majority of it is in manipulating some data uh, you can find uh, after you finish this track okay and you can go to the project section here on the left side and go to the filter projects and tell him that I want an R technology and I want only in data manipulation and you can see that these are the courses which are in our language and basically this course is all about data manipulation and importing and visualization you finish that track and then you come here and you play around with this project okay I have uh, reviewed the project section in details on my channel you can go and check it out uh, I would uh, it's really nice it's, it's, it's all uh, written yeah uh, it's uh, it's let, let me show you how it's look like it's a uh, big Jupyter notebook with some uh, instructions on the left side and you can just uh, read here and you write it down here and after you finish everything you click on the check section here it will check your code and at the end you can download the, the notebook and put it on your github which is really nice now it's always uh, takes time yeah here there, there it is okay you can just come here and file and download as notebook or an R file you just at the end you click on check project project it's gonna check all the steps for you and at the end you can you'll be able to download the solved um, notebook and put it in your github that's really nice so first take the track of data analyst and then skill your assessment your skills and then come here and take the project and if you want to become data analyst who work with data scientists take this track and if you want to only uh, let's say solidify and uh, have an advanced level of uh, data analyst take this track statistics with R is going to help you a lot if, especially if you're an academic I would highly recommend that you take this track and data analyst track as uh, and most of your academic uh, projects and theses are going to end up uh, playing with data and analyzing data so make sure to buy or subscribe to 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 that account from the link in the description below there is a big chance you're gonna get a discount and I would highly recommend that you enroll in the paid one you can only you can try the free one I mean uh, in every course there are the, fir the first chapter is always free you can try it out uh, or you can just check the review and uh, subscribe to the annual one it's gonna be cheaper and it's gonna be much better and you, uh, take your time okay this track is, has 27 courses just take your time maybe you, you will be able to finish it in one year or two years I know it's a lot I mean I'm pretty sure you have something else to do instead of just learning data camp from data camp so take your time learn the way you want but let's just make sure that you are really learning always after you finish every course go and assess your skill and see if you really understand it or not Again, make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you like it. Share it with your friends if you found it useful. And make sure to buy it from the link in the description below so you can get the discount if there was. Okay? Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.